Hello, everyone. I hope you guys have had an amazing day. And if not, that you guys will have an amazing day. Today, we're going to debrief chapter six. Okay, chapter six is titled The Law of Attraction, the most powerful law in the universe. Woo now, this book is um, written by Esther and Jerry Hicks. It is Ask and It Is Given. It says here, it is learning to manifest your desires. I really highly uh, recommend this book just for others if you have not read it and if you have read it please share with us some of your takeaways some of the things that maybe you didn't see when we you when you first read it but what it's given you after the fact I would love to know because we're just getting started so once again this is chapter six it says the law of attraction the most powerful law of the universe and it starts with every thought vibrates Every thought radiates a signal and every thought attracts a matching signal back, aka a magnet. We are magnets. Everything vibrates. Everything radiates a signal. And every thought attracts. So we are like a cellular tower as a magnet. So think of yourself as a magnetic cellular tower. Whatever signal I release from this tower is the exact same signal I am asking to attract. Now, technically we're not asking for it, but technically none of us asked to be here. Hmm, we're here. We don't have a choice. We were asked to be here. So there are thoughts that are asking to come to fruition, right? So that's just part of the evolution. We want to grow. We want to expand. So as we're releasing, I'm just doing a visual because I wish I understood these things with words, but I don't. I, I'm more a little bit more visual. So the way that I see it is I see myself as a magnetic cellular tower if i am saying help then i can expect help will be on its way if i say i need an ambulance i am expecting the ambulance to come if i say i need help it's a little bit more vague a little bit more general i will get help who is to say if it's the specific help that i need so I just use both of those examples because both of those examples are basically the exact same thought, the exact same thing that we say. One is more specific, one is more general, but it's just showing the example of us being magnets, right? For example, I can be sitting right here thinking of Misty for you know whatever reason, and then Misty will call me, and then we're like, whoa, that was some freaky shit, yo. Like I was just thinking about you. I was thinking about you. Oh yeah, and I called you, and so you're just like, what the fuck? This is so cool. This is so weird, right? Well, what's really happening is I released an energy. I released a vibration. Now, how the fuck did it get to Florida? Who the fuck knows? I have no idea how it got to Florida. You know, just like I don't know how I got here. They say my mom and my dad had sex, sure, or whatever. How did I get here though, right? I don't know how, I'm here. Well, the same thing, right? How did my vibrational thought get all the way to Florida? Who the fuck knows? It just did. And somehow Misty got this, you know, beautiful rose smell and said, that reminds me of Amber. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, <laughs> you know? But whatever, for whatever reason, right? Or something came up on the TV. That may be the form of, of, of the way that my uh, signal is showing up for her. Something could come up on the TV that's going to uh, cause a, a thought process in Misty to say, oh shit, I was supposed to call Amber and I didn't call her back. Let me call her back right now before I forget. And it could happen so simple like that, so out of like the blue, and then boom, now you connect it. She called me because she saw something on the TV, but most likely my signal waves of me thinking of her created her to see that TV segment at that moment that will create that thought that will spark the action and boom. Now the, the thought, the cellular tower that released Misty out there, my magnetism, attracted Misty to me. So I, I'm thinking of it this way. 
you know, for, for what it says, every thought vibrates, every thought radiates a signal, and every thought attracts a matching signal back. So I, man, the way I'm, I'm it, even the way that I'm saying it, I'm like, holy shit. I just feel like it brings a lot of like attention, which is called awareness, but to my brain. Now that I'm saying it like this, where I can visually kind of have this representation that kind of makes that connection for me mentally, I'm feeling like, whoa, like this big poof realization that if I just stand guard of my mind, not in a pressured way, in a very observant way, but at the same time, just being very cautious of like, and not, not vigilante, okay, it's more observant, more, more just and when I say cautious, it's just because things will slip through your head that you have no idea about that will make you dip in terms of your emotions. But if you're standing guard of your mind, then you, you will become aware to the shift based on what the next activity is that you're doing or what you're engaging in. So I'm just speaking out loud, you guys. I'm so sorry. This is supposed to be a debrief and we're kind of going into a segment, but I just wanted to get it out hopefully it helps one of you all of you I know that I'm having these like interconnections right now so I'm like beep 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 beep, beep. you know something's going on in here but I would love for you guys if you guys were to you know if I were to sum up the law of attraction that's exactly how I would sum it up you are a magnetizing cellular like signal what is it called a tower that's what I would call the law of attraction. You have no choice. You're a magnet. You are a walking magnet, period. You believe in it. You don't believe in it. You like it. You don't like it. You want it. You don't fucking want it. Guess what? You're here. You are a magnet. So I guess I'd say put yourself as a representation of a magnet and then think of yourself as a cellular tower, but think of it on top of your head, just like a cellular tower. It's not the body that's creating. The body is just the energy allowing the flow to happen. But the actual tower, the actual signal parts coming from your brain, that is the one that's really, you know, ejecting all of these thoughts and feelings and, you know, uh, vivid uh, imaginations or whatever the case may be. So that is where I'm going to leave it. Because I think I just had like a kaput. My brain is kaputing right now. So I don't got much to say no more. But my love, please take it away. Thank you, love. Oh my gosh, that was such a beautiful example. Like, honestly, I just love the way you said that. It was so beautifully put. Because um, I'm very visual as well. So the way you just said it, just kind of like putting it out there. And the, the explanation you gave, like, I don't know if you all paid attention, but she said when I'm out, you know what I mean? Pretend you're at a, you, you're a tower and you, you're screaming out for help. So th that's the thought that you have, like you have this help, but now you actually saying, I need an ambulance. You're putting focus on a specific thing that you are bringing in. So that is just a beautiful example as far as how our thoughts you know, having just control of what we're thinking and how that attracts different things and, and why sometimes things just don't really happen the way we kind of want them to, because we're not even really putting much effort into what we want, kind of like what we were saying before. So this chapter, this chapter is just kind of going a little bit deeper into, um, us just paying attention to what our vibration is putting out and what our thoughts are putting out. Because honestly, like you said, whether you like it or not, this is a law, just like there's the law of gravity. And I encourage everyone to like do your own research too, as far as all the different laws. There's so many different laws and, and we have, like you said, you might not know about it, but it's still happening. And there's more stuff that I'm sure, you know what I mean? There's so much that I am just, I can't wait to, you know, get my get on more understanding on because that is really when you're going to become more empowered when you're really going to start to just you know like things are just really going to start like clicking lining up like click 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 you know what I mean all together and I'm just really excited because honestly this book is I'm telling you 
I don't know if you guys are, are, are knowing, but you th this is some really good, this is like gold. So definitely take advantage of what is given, especially if this just kind of just randomly popped into you, like your feed or like someone told you to listen to it and it just like, you're like, wow, this, you know what I mean? And things are kind of making sense. And, you know, there's always a reason. There's a reason for everything. Just like Amber mentioned, you know, you probably called out for some kind of help and this is the help that you might need. So take advantage and definitely go through this book. We're just kind of summarizing our interpretation of these different chapters, but there's so much in here, so much. We're just kind of giving you our like juicy stuff, but we want to hear your juicy stuff too. So please share, please um, drop your comments in here because I want to read them because there, there's just so many different ways and there's so much that we can just learn from each other all together. And that's the whole reason behind this is really just to attract more of this beautiful, like, oh, like the magnet just growing and just getting more people connected all together and just raising that vibration and that awareness and that just beautiful experience of life. Like, oh my goodness, I just can't you know amber we, we we've been talking about this so I'm, I'm just enjoying this moment all together and just yeah just pay attention to what it is that you you are thinking those thoughts and those vibrations and what you are asking for because if you're just sitting there um you know just thinking just negative things honestly that's what's going to happen if you're thinking about how you know i can't i, I won't be able to go on this trip i'm not going to have the money yeah you're not going to have the money you know what i mean you're not so that's what you're attracting all together into your life. So don't feel bad, you know, that that's what you're attracting, like good or bad, that whatever it is, there is no differentiation in this field altogether. Whatever you want, you ask and it is given. So you just saying that you just got it and it just given it to you. So just pay attention altogether to what it is that you are, the thoughts that you're, you're, you're thinking. And like you said, Amber, so beautifully, you know, just kind of start to even just sitting quietly for a moment, just to observe, like, cause sometimes we just don't even take a break to just kind of see what's going on in there and just kind of just pay attention, like non-judging, just kind of like, oh, okay, this is why I don't feel so good every morning when I wake up. Cause as soon as I wake up, I feel like this, like, uh, you know what I mean? Like just paying attention to those little things and, um, taking advantage of you being now having this awareness of these thoughts that now create this emotion and just starting to tweak things. Okay. I don't want to feel like that. So how should I start my morning? What, what other things could you be thinking about? Could you be thinking about like the beautiful sunrise that you're about to see on your way to work or while you're walking down the street or whatever it is that you're going to do? Like there's so many different things that we can um, change as far as the perceptions to really help us enjoy this experience. So um, I'm going to kind of stop too, because I could just keep going. <laughs> I think I think you just uh, gave me a little I think I, I plugged into your <laughs> your socket. <laughs> so is there anything else love before I okay so thank you so much everyone once again for being here with us we are just loving this we love the shares that you all have been putting in for us to read so continue to grow this community share it with others continue to put your um, experiences in here we want to hear it all if there's anything all together you want to private message us you got our information here so please feel free we love to connect with other people and just continue to grow and make this life experience amazing so we will see you all on the next one.